What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Customs and Restoration with Vic. For today's project, we got four pairs of triple white dunks that we're gonna be customizing. The concept for today is Oster Haze, AKA Easter Bunny. We're gonna show you guys how to properly dye these shoes and do some other really cool details. Stay tuned to the very end of the video because we will be announcing the winners for all four pairs of shoes. So without further ado, let's get it started. Before we start dyeing all these sneakers, we gotta take out our shoelaces and do some prep work. For this, we'll be using some acetone and cotton balls. Prep was complete, now we're on to dyeing the sneakers. The first step, we need two buckets of water, one for the cold water and one for the hot water and dye. First thing we gotta do is heat it up using a bucket heater that I picked up at a hardware store. While we let the water heat up, we're gonna put the sneakers inside the cold water. The reason why we gotta do this is so the dye can bond better to the sneakers once we put them inside the hot water. We're also gonna be using two bottles per pair to get a darker tone. For the first pair, we're gonna be using the yellow dye. Let's mix it up. to the peacock green. On to the last dye, the royal purple. After about 12 hours, it's time to pull out the shoes. We're gonna pull them out and rinse them in the sink to get off any excess dye. Shoes are all rinsed, now to complete this process, we're gonna put these shoes inside the sink of water that's mixed in with salt and vinegar to lock in the dye. All right guys, we got these shoes all rinsed and fully dried, let's check them out. These all came out really sick, the red dye definitely did its job, let's start with the purple ones. The purple ones came out great, the color is very vibrant, overall it did a great job. This toe cap area, it's a little light compared to the rest. It's just how it is. Sometimes the dye is inconsistent on these shoes. The yellow ones came out literally perfect. The yellows throughout the entire shoe, nice and vibrant, came out good. Same thing with the teal ones, no complaints there. The green ones are also a little light. It's more of a mint color, but I can't complain too much. On this side, there is some white showing on the swoosh area, but again, that's the beauty of this type of project. Off camera, I also went ahead and did a blue pair. The color on these look great. But once again, similar issue. I did the prep work correctly, follow the steps exact same way as I did with all four pairs. But on the toe box, it's two different tones. Doesn't look horrible, but it's inconsistent. Again, you just never know what's gonna happen. But overall, I'm not complaining. Red dye did its job. Now, this is an Easter concept, but I wanted to give this project an official name. The official name is the Osterhaus Pack. The Osterhaus means Easter Bunny in Germany. I have the full definition right here, Osterhaus. The Easter Bunny first arrived in America in the 1700s with German immigrants who settled in Pennsylvania and transported the tradition of an egg-laying hare called Osterhaus. Their children made nests in which the creature could lay its colored eggs. Really cool stuff, I just hope I pronounced the word right. 
We also got some custom insoles that my boy D Nice Customs made. We'll lay these down later. Now we're on to some other details. We get a laser engraved these shoes. On one side, we're gonna lay down the rabbit that Julian designed for the insole. And on the opposite side, we're gonna lay down the word Osterhaas. Let's go do that now. Good to go with laser engraving these sneakers. Big shout out to Julian for always coming through. On one shoe, we got the Rabbit, and on the second shoe, we got Osterhaas. Real clean, that ties in the full concept with these custom insoles. Again, big shout out to D-Nice Customs for always coming through with the custom accessories. On one of them, we got the Osterhaas Definition with the background full of Easter eggs. And the second insole, we got the Osterhaas logo and the Rabbit, designed by Julian. Big shout out to those two guys. Now what we're gonna do is cut them out so they can fit perfectly inside the shoes. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on this custom Osterhaas Easter Dunk Pack. This was a really fun project and really easy to do. All four pairs got dipped in red dye, the purple, peacock green, teal, and yellow. We also did some laser engraving details and got some custom insoles to fully tie in the concept. Now, the moment you guys all been waiting for, it's time to announce the winners of this giveaway. For the purple pair, the lucky winner is Charisse Paoli of Chicago, Illinois. Congratulations, you're the winner of the purple pair. Now, on to the peacock green. Lucky winner of this pair is Misty Davis of Cedar Rapids 1A. Not sure where that is, but you're the lucky winner, Misty. On to the blue pair. Actually, it's more of a teal pair, sorry. Linda Zandy of Seattle, Washington, you're the lucky winner of this pair. Now, the yellow pair is the pair that I wanna keep personally, but unfortunately, I gotta give these away. Lucky winner for this pair is Victoria Cochran of Illinois. You're the lucky winner of this pair. Congratulations, you guys. The team will be boxing these up and shipping them your way. For those of you that didn't win, don't worry. We'll be doing more of these in the nearby future. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.